Sagittarius. How are you? It's your forest fairy here. Nice to see you again. What is going on with my sheath of Sagittarians? I mean, Sagittarius, I'm feeling for you a real, a real sense of wonder. There's a lot of things in your life that are just amazing you. You're kind of sitting back and going, cool, like in a very Sagittarius, like I kind of knew I could do this or I could see this or I could, you know, manifest this and, and it's here, cool. Now, now what? Now what I'm, I'm and it, it's getting bigger and more extravagant and just this feeling of, but it's, a, it's almost like a downplay. The devil. <laughs> what are you tempted with? <laughs> oh my goodness. Sagittarius. What are you... What are you playing with, Sagittarius? What are you playing with? Huh? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, let's get some cards out and find out what this devil card... The first card out is the devil card. This could mean a whole lot of things, Sagittarius. I am not really feeling with this card, especially in your deck, this feeling of fear. This is experimenting. This is like curiosity. And as they say, curiosity killed the cat. However, Sagittarius, that's funny. Okay. The energy that crosses this, truth, clarity with the Ace of Swords. So what is your truth, Sagittarius? What is it? We'll find out. Um, your higher self is that you are emotionally walking away from those, and it could be from devilish relationships, work, friends, could be a lot. Your focus and foundation is you are taking a risk, a risk, but also a leap of faith towards the light, your sun. Hmm. And you are confident in doing so. This dog is not stopping you, right? In a traditional Rider Waite Smith, the dog or the, the animal, whatever it is, is, is saying, no, don't, don't. And it's pulling back. This dog is, is going with you. Whatever this means to you, we'll find out in the recent past. Ah, you're moving away from these tumultuous and, and intense waters into that of calm waters and being led by your guardian angel, as we see here. Are you, I also am feeling a sense of protection from dark forces. Interesting, now, in the future, nine of pentacles, as I said, Sagittarius, you are manifesting things that other people would just find magical, right? Like, this is unbelievable. And you're just like, yeah, I do this every day. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how you're going to figure out how to do it, but I figured out how to do it. Interesting. And this is because the devil card is also a Capricorn energy. So this is manifesting. This is mastering this realm to manifest independence, wealth, um, this isn't the 10, this is the 9. So this is also a very solo energy that with or without others, you're good, Sagittarius. How you see yourself is going deep within. Maybe to take a look at that which tempted you, those um, dark forces, you might be someone that is aware of them, and because your major arcana is the temperance card, you've got angels surrounding you, Sagittarius, protecting you. Do you protect others? Interesting. You're going deep within. You're finding wisdom. Like this is beyond knowledge into wisdom. How other people see you is very generous with your time, your money, um, this is also very much a volunteering card for me today. I'm seeing the 
the difference between the poverty and the wealth. And with you being at the Nine of Pentacles here, this is you being generous with. And again, time is money. As Capricorn knows, time is money. So you're being generous not only with your money, but with your time. That's what I'm hearing. That's how other people see you. Your hope and our fear is there it is. The nine plus the one, the ace of pentacles equals the ten, and that's generational wealth. And the two of cups. Beautiful. The two of cups is the potential outcome. And if you're a single Sagittarian, you could be finding a two of cups relationship. The bottom of the deck, that which you might not see. The three of cups. The three of cups is celebrating, having fun with family and friends. Interesting. That which you might not see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get to it. Let's go deeper because I am curious about this devil, Sagittarius. I'm not going to lie to you. I am curious about this devil. The clarifiers will really give me a sense of what this means to you, Sagittarius. Let's find out. Holding on. Holding on to your truth amongst all of the deception and lies. Interesting. Okay, Sagittarius, we're going in. When I see the magician and the devil together, this is almost like a trickster type of vibe. This is an energy of knowing how to manifest and how to do it in ways that might not be aligned with, let's just say, the truth that might not be aligned with God. I'm just putting it out there. So when it's paired up with the Four of Pentacles, are you holding on to old ways with which you made money? Old ways with which you, um, I don't want to say manipulated, but the devil energy is a very manipulating energy. For some of you, is the truth is that you were manipulated and you're moving away from this. That you're manifesting your independence. That's for some of you. Let's find out with this eight. The empress. The empress energy. The empress energy. And learning. Okay. I'm going to keep it there. So. I'm seeing this figure walk away. From a mother figure. For some of you. And learning. How to make it on their own. Learning how to manifest their independence. Okay. For some of you. I also see this Empress energy quietly and through this moon. Do you see the, the moon sort of magic sparkles? This Empress or divine feminine energy is what's, do you see how it's backing you up to move away from empty cups? Learning what an empty cup is. Learning about how to fill your own cup up by seeing your worth and being able to equally give and receive because people see you as very giving Sagittarius. So the fool is your focus and foundation is to take that leap of faith with the divine empress behind you. Yes, into emotional independence. They're telling me to put it here because this is a wish fulfillment card as well in the minor. Yeah. And really defending. What's backing you up is this I believe. Because 
The, the defensiveness of the Seven of Wands is that which you believe in. You believe in your magic. You believe in your divine femininity. You believe in your emotional. I've got emotional and material independence here. So, Six of Swords. You're moving away from this emotional ups and downs and, and tumultuous, um, intense energy into calm waters. And you're curious. You are curious as to what you're moving into. You know where you've come from. You're curious about a Two of Cups. Is that what's driving you? Also, for some of you, especially when I'm moving it, right beside this Four of Pentacles, are you holding on to, let's say, a toxic Two of Cups? Two of Cups isn't toxic toxicity but the devil can be. So when you're curious about moving away, are you curious about moving away into a loving relationship that both people in that loving relationship have emotional independence? Well, let's hope so. This is financial and materialistic independence in the future. Wow, there you are, the king of wands. And there you are, your major. Thank you for showing up, Sagittarius. This is Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card. So you are finding, you have found out who you truly are. Who you truly are, the leader you are, and how you are going to lead those into financial independence. You could have um, courses online about how to invest if you're an investor. You could have um, courses, I keep hearing courses online you could have developed your own courses with this page of pentacles of how to, how to get independent out of the devil uh, corporate slavery for some of you. This is corporate slavery and you've manifested your own um, financial independence and balancing out those emotions with the nine of cups and your fire, your get up and go, your soul. Now, how you see yourself as the hermit. And this does have to do with work. This is such a Virgo energy, the hermit and the eight of pentacles and self-love. You're working on your self-love. So for some of you, this devil could be those little nattering thoughts, which the sword of truth, the new beginning with clarity, with this truth. The truth is what has been um, programmed into you from childhood, what has been programmed into you through work, corporations, um, government even. You are manifesting yourself out of it, believing in your magic, believing in your ability to be emotionally and financially independent. And that is through the deep wisdom, the deep inner work of self-love. It's a lot of work. And putting work into, as I said, when I saw um, the Nine of Pentacles, this is a lot of work into, um, on, I keep hearing online courses, whatever that means to you, Sagittarius, whatever you, whatever you do for a living, whatever it is that you do. It could be investments. It could be um, how to earn um, passive income, how you did it, how to make Amazon work for you, for some of you. Um, all of this. Uh, Self-help courses for some of you. A lot of healing. When I see the temperance card, this is also a lot of healing, emotionally walking away. Um, you could have a lot of of knowledge with psychology, with um, how to walk away from toxicity, toxic workplaces, toxic people, toxic relationships. Interesting. That's just what I keep hearing. Six of Pentacles is how other people see you, being very generous with your time, your money, with your knowledge, and making a decision. 
This is also a planning card. Planning. Yeah. To find that work group, that three of pentacles. People that see your value, that see you holding the world in the palm of your hand and planning. Interesting. The Ace of Pentacles. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. This is a brand new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles says go back to the Hermit. And with self-love, with work, you see that you are that golden opportunity or that you see as the seer the golden opportunity being handed to you and you are taking action. I'm going to put this here because it's going to take you time to find those people. This is your hope and or fear that will work well with you, but you are taking action on the plans that you've made in the direction that you're going. Especially when I see this Fool card and taking a leap of faith. That's what the Two of Wands talks about, is making a decision. Planning for which way you're going to go, which path you're going to take. Now, we saw the Two of Cups in the past. You're in your head. You have a mental prison, which is the minor arcana, which then makes sense of this Devil card. About your, two, your Ten of Cups. Will you find a Two of Cups? relationship? Will your independence give you a gateway into those Ten of Cups through another? Be patient with the Two of Cups. It's right above your card. Sagittarius, be patient. Yeah, the hanged man. The hanged man is taking a look at things from a different perspective. And you might be taking a look at relationships, at friendships, at um, family relationships from a different perspective, from a higher perspective as well. The hangman hangs upside down. He does this himself. And the hangman goes into hermit mode. This very much reminds me of a crystalis. And so when they emerge, they emerge completely different out of hermit mode than when they went in with emotional independence and financial independence. Sagittarius, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. 24 is the first angel number I see. 24. Angels are shining a light of harmony on you in your personal relationships. Any conflicts are now being resolved. So you don't have to worry about it. Not at all. You can get your head. You know the truth. You can get out of your head. I see 2, 4, 9. And 97. Let's do 97 first. You are a magnet for all things at this time. That's what the magician is. A magnet. Align your energy with golden thoughts. With this Ace of Pentacles. And golden energy to attract golden opportunities. And isn't that what is what in the hermit's lantern and you have the hermit twice so align your energy with golden thoughts and golden energy to attract golden opportunities with the magician here I see 497 actually what did I see say first 249 let's do two oh right there 249 your angels are guiding you to unleash your spirit with that king of wands. Express your true and most sacred self with the ace of swords. Absolutely. I see 497. 497. Your energy is opening up and new opportunities to experience harmony are being presented to you. Your energy is opening up and new opportunities to experience harmony are being presented to you. Interesting. I see 108. I see 23 as well. Let's do 23. You are being guided by ascended masters at this time. Trust the path you are on is perfect for your current situation. Now 108. It's perfect for you. Again, it's all divine timing. 
you are on a journey that is leading you inward. And when you get the Hermit twice out of two decks, definitely. You have all the answers you are seeking with that Ace of Swords. You have all the answers deep within. This is fact. I see two, sorry, I said 23, but I see 8, 2, 3. Now, any numbers that you see on my table, I also see 88. I want to do that first. <coughs> any numbers that you see on my table, Sagittarius, that I do not read aloud, those are personal messages for you. Get your book and take a look. If you do not have an angel numbers book, go to the description box below, click on the link, and grab yourself one for future reads and maybe previous reads. Now, 88, there's a portal opening up for you to step into a more spiritually centered life, which is what the Hermit really speaks about. And 823, last one, 823. Your current situation is moving toward a resolution. Know that angels and ascended masters are guiding you toward a higher purpose. Know that, Sagittarius. And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.